Love and work, work and love, that's all there is. The goal of all life is death. The great question that has never been answered, and which I have not yet been able to answer, despite my thirty years of research into the feminine soul, is what does a woman want? Flowers are restful to look at. They have neither emotions nor conflicts. I have found little that is good about human beings on the whole. In my experience most of them are trash, no matter whether they publicly subscribe to this or that ethical doctrine or to none at all. That is something that you cannot say aloud, or perhaps even think. The interpretation of dreams is the royal road to a knowledge of the unconscious activities of the mind. A man who has been the indisputable favorite of his mother keeps for life the feeling of a conqueror. What we call happiness in the strictest sense comes from the, preferably sudden, satisfaction of needs which have been dammed up to a high degree. We are never so defenseless against suffering as when we love. The doctor should be opaque to his patients and, like a mirror, should show them nothing but what is shown to him. Every normal person, in fact, is only normal on the average. His ego approximates to that of the psychotic in some part or other and to a greater or lesser extent. We have long observed that every neurosis has the result, and therefore probably the purpose, of forcing the patient out of real life, of alienating him from actuality. Like the physical, the psychical is not necessarily in reality what it appears to us to be. Just as a cautious businessman avoids investing all his capital in one concern, so wisdom would probably admonish us also not to anticipate all our happiness from one quarter alone. Man has, as it were, become a kind of prosthetic god. When he puts on all his auxiliary organs, he is truly magnificent, but those organs have not grown on him and they still give him much trouble at times. Don't forget subscribe button and hit the bell with all notifications.